Hey guys, what's up? It's Umbra here bringing you guys a new video. So today I'm back again on Final Fantasy 14. And today I'm going to be bringing you guys a guide on how to get the most MGP possible in the Gold Saucer. Because who knows, maybe you want some of the mounts you can get. Or some of the emotes. Like, do you want a, this emote? Yeah, it's awesome. Check out these moves. Anyways, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get the most MGP possible so you can get emotes like this, which are cool as fuck. Alright, so before we begin, this I know there are other guides that kind of involve... Like, this is kind of an obvious guide, but this is what I found to be the most helpful in getting MGP for this. So, first of all, we're gonna want to go to our challenge logs, and we're gonna try to complete all of these challenges. Like, I'm not gonna try to complete them right now, but basically what you have to be doing for this to get the most MGP possible out of this is complete all of these. For these, you have to complete three minigames. That shouldn't be too hard, you just have to go... Somewhere over here, like, maybe you could go to Kufakur and punch the shit out of Gilgamesh or something. Or, like, maybe, like, some of the minigames around here. Let's see if I can find one. So, yeah, here's an example of one of the games you can play to get MGP. Or, like, complete this challenge. Now, this doesn't give you a lot of MGP, but this can help you complete, um, your challenges. So, I'm gonna show you how you do this. Okay, so as you can see, I managed to successfully complete this. Now, it gave me 10 MG points. That's not a lot, so let's see if we can complete three more and complete this minigame. So there, as you can see, we've completed this challenge, and we've gotten 1,000 MG points. So that's one method you can use to get MG points out of the gold saucer. So, some more challenges on this log is, um, participate in some gates. I'm not gonna demonstrate right now because there aren't any gates happening. So, like, what this means is gates are kind of like the, uh, gold saucer's equivalents of fates in the game. Except there's not really any combat, so it's a little bit different. Like, some examples include having to find a chocobo chip on top of Mount Corel without getting uh, blown off by the explosions, or like the bombs, I guess. And another one is you trying to deliver some items without dying, or no, not dying, of getting caught by bandits. So basically, I'd recommend proceeding with these through cautions. It's okay if you fail them because you still get points towards participating in these gates for this log right there here that gives you 5,000 MG points. Com successfully completing three gives you 8,000, so that's pretty good. So, um, next we got Triple Triad. Well, pretty much the rest, but in order to access the Battle Hall, what you gotta do is check this thing right here, the Triple Triad Battle Hall, and that should take you there. It You should automatically, um, find a duty, and then you just go there and do triple triads but right now we're gonna be focusing on the triple triads right here in the best way I found to win triple triad matches is by using cards like your cards don't have to be really strong because it's hard to find good cards but this is the best deck I could find now I'm gonna have it right here a moogle a tonberry a chocobo a gubu and I know a lot of you probably don't have this, but Nidhogg. I don't know, I just got lucky. But if you don't have Nidhogg, you could try buy buying Godbird. He's a pretty good card as well. And I'd recommend fighting against these guys, and I will show you guys the best way unwhipping and unwinning triple triad matches. Alright, so here we go. Start. Okay. Usually, it's it's beneficial if the enemy starts first, since that you have the upper hand and you're given more time to decide your strategy. So, since he's down there, I'm gonna put a chocobo to his left because 
The seven to a six has more. Yeah. So as you can see, that's my best method on trying to win triple triad matches. I mean, you can have your own method, but this is my best method. This has helped me a lot in terms of winning triple triad matches, and you can fight people in triple triad like all over Eorzea, but um, usually I just do it here at the Gold Saucer, because that's... Because completing triple triad matches just gives you MG, MG points. Sorry for the mess up. And once you got your MG points, you can go here and claim your prize. So I still have uh, 20,000 from last time, so I'm gonna buy something right now. I'm gonna... Actually, I'm not gonna buy anything because I want to save my MG points. But anyways, this has been my guide on the best way so far on how to find and grind MG points. Now, I forgot to mention these challenge logs reset every week. So if you don't get enough MG points this week, that's okay. Be sure to come back next week and do these challenges all over again. So anyways, guys, I hope you have an awesome day. I hope you all find this video helpful. Let me know in the comments if you've got any other helpful suggestions for getting MG points. Now anyways, guys, I hope you all have an amazing day. You guys are awesome. Umbra out. Good boy,